This segment of Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Spotlight. I'm your host, Jay Mornette, and I'm joined now by Becky Pundy of Respite Endowment Organization and Jim Guzjo, owner of Bright Star Care here in Naperville. So welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Becky, it's nice to have you back. I know we always enjoy hearing about your organization. So for those who maybe don't know what you do, give us a little bit of information about Respite Endowment Organization. Respite Endowment Organization is a service organization. We provide family support to caregivers of special needs children. And we have been around going on almost five years now. Okay, so coming up on an anniversary, which is exciting. Yes. yes. Talk a little bit about some of your programs and what you do. Currently, what we do is we provide a once a month respite program for caregivers. Uh, we have the children come. We host it out of the Alive Center in Naperville. We have volunteer caregivers who are teens and adults, as uh, well as one uh, nurse uh, from Bright Star Care, uh, which is where uh, Jim's company comes in. And uh, so we average about uh, 15 children and siblings a month. We also do once a month free family education seminars. We've got programs that uh, provide discounts to um, group rates with uh, O'Flaherty Law. And we've got something new that's coming up. It's called Kids Creative Club. Uh, what we're really excited about. You want to say a bit more about that? Well, it'll be it'll be teen led okay. also, where the volunteers will be coming up with a fun sensory curriculum that we think that caregivers will get a break and also the children will enjoy. Good. Well, that's wonderful. And I think it's those two parts, right? It's yes. that giving the the break to the caregiver and having fun for the kids. Yes. Yes. Jim, how did Bright Star get involved with Respite Endowment Organization? Sure. Um, Bright Star provides um, high quality, personalized care in any setting. Um, and uh, uh, we provide care from seniors to children and um, you know staffing as well as in-home care. So when Becky came to us um, with her very inspiring story about five years ago um, and her vision for respite and dominant organization, you know, we thought it was a perfect match for us and something we, re we really wanted to be part of. And so, um, you know, we, we partner with her in any possible way we can from sponsoring her events and providing uh, help at the Alive Center as needed. Um, you know, we staff, uh, just as a couple other examples, we staff nurses uh, to schools, uh, nurses that may ride the bus with a child, uh, you know, in special needs. So, you know, they, you can use this in a variety of different ways as well as maybe some respite care in home. Okay. So a variety of different ways that Bright Star can be used for, for these families that are in need of such, such uh, support. So there's really a, an overlap there. Sure. Yeah. And that is how we originally used Bright Star is our programs did start out by giving gifts of respite, including in-home respite. And Bright Star is one of the very few uh, in the area and around that does provide special needs care uh, to children and adults with developmental disabilities and um, special needs. And that's why it's so important for you, I would imagine. That's why it was a great match and they took a chance and said, yes, we will work with you. So we were delighted. And how many, about how many families are you working with, uh, Becky, on, a, on an annual basis? Uh, currently, right now, we are serving um, with all of our programs, I would say, over over a hundred at, at this point and uh, with the potential for more with our new clubs and uh, and partnerships. Okay. So it's it's definitely exciting and uh, with the growth we've been uh, very pleased. So Jim, talk a little bit about from your perspective why giving uh, care to the caregivers and, and taking care of them is so important. Yes, well you know we see it all the time in the home when our when our nurses or you know our some of our staff go out and arrange in-home care for a family you know, we can see the stress of the caregiver and our nurse case managers see it over a continuum of time and how it really impacts the caregiver. And from a personal standpoint, you know, I, I see it with respect to my own family, uh, my mom and dad who are no longer with us, but um, you know, when, in the early 80s, my mom had dementia, my dad had, um, um, you know, was, was saddled with prostate cancer and, you know, he just wanted to be the caregiver for her, you know, while she, you know, progressed through dementia and had the gradual slide. 
And um, you know, no matter what, Dad wanted to do it. I mean, you know, yeah. he, he was going to do it for her as, as a labor of love. And you know, I could certainly watch the progression. You know, how it really impacted him both physically and mentally. And you know, it's it's true. It, you know, stress is the silent killer. Um, right. it, it just kind of creeps up on you. These families are providing care uh, day in and day out, and you're doing what you need to do for your individual family member um, yeah, as a labor of love in many cases. And you know. It, your, your mental health and your physical health is, is being gradually degraded and you just don't see it. Yeah. And it's, it's so important to just get away. Yeah. Even if it's just a few hours. Right. For a date night, for yeah. example. You know, yeah. And just clear your mind. Sure. Because, uh, you know, it really relieves the stress on these families. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I, and I think, and then being able to keep going. Um, yes, if, absolutely. if you don't have a break, it's hard to keep going, right? A little recharge makes a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Becky, you've got an exciting health fair coming up. Yes. So talk a little bit about that. So mission driven, we do believe in the support and care of families and caregivers. So that being a health fair, we want to bring businesses together to provide support for mental, physical, and uh, all types of wellness. So we are having, uh, it's our second fair actually, and we've got, we are holding it in Naperville Steeple Run Elementary School. We've got all sorts of vendors and uh, coming to do free screenings, do education, do demonstrations, and it will be uh, from 9 to 12 on Saturday, September 23rd. And it is, uh, we've got a theme to it. Okay, and the theme is? The theme is family team building. We want everyone to work together as a team and also to disconnect, to reconnect. We feel like families, uh, parents and children are all on devices all the time. And so if we can get them to learn how to disconnect together, they can also come back together as a team. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And it sounds like it's going to be exciting. And here locally in Steeple Run, right? And yes. the date again was? September 23rd. Okay. September on a Saturday 23rd. from 9 to 12. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate what you're doing. We know it's tough work uh, that, you're, and that you're really helping out with. So thank you for doing that. Thanks for having us. If you would like to learn more about Respite Endowment and their upcoming health fair, please visit their website. We're going to take a quick break for a few short messages, but don't go away. We're coming right back with more Spotlight.